about two years ago now, Spotify, which I don't know if you've heard of, they're the new music industry app uh, for streaming music online or through your device, vice versa, whichever. They came out with this series of branding ads and campaigns that essentially use this effect that is what I refer to as a gradient map effect, which takes a gradient and overlays an image, but it subtracts it based on the blacks and whites in the photo or the tonalities of the photo. So Spotify came up with this huge campaign. These are just a couple of ideas I Googled and found online of that campaign, which no longer exists now, but that created this effect on typical photos you see. And I thought it'd be a nice idea to see if we can recreate that effect using Affinity Photo with the gradient map feature. So I'm gonna dive right in with a few photos I found. You can download these and toy with them as you please. So go ahead and do that if you are a pro subscriber, as well as the files that come along with it, you'll get those. What we can do at this point is basically create a new adjustment layer that adds what is known as a gradient map over top of these layers. And I'll show you the initial effect it gives us when we first apply it. So I'll go to layer, adjustment layer, gradient map adjustment. And it starts with this kind of RGB spectrum and that's more or less red, green, blue spectrum. What I typically do when I edit a photo like this is delete one of the central colors and then you'll want your shadows in the image to be a darker color, whereas the highlights of the image to be a lighter color. So if we were to just swap these, the image would already probably look a little bit better. Yeah, and it does. And you can use any combination of colors here. Typically, I mean, a, a common effect I would see is using black and white uh, exclusively. So you'd get a black and white photo, but it's very, very high in contrast. So I'm going to do that again. It looks like I deleted that by accident. I'm gonna grab a gradient map adjustment, delete that first one. You can click on that handle and just hit delete on your keyboard. I'll reverse it to get that effect. And then we can click this Let's say click the red. I'm gonna first show you what I commonly see, which is going from black to white. And that kind of gives the same same effect as a black and white image, only it's straight from black to white. There's no intermediate spectrum that you can adjust that you could do with say a black and white adjustment layer, which you can add in Affinity Photo as well. If you go to here, where we where is it at? Right there. To create something like those ads, we can create first maybe more of a darker deep blue color and then you can cue it in with another color over top, kind of giving that duotone effect, which is what we're something we're after. So here I'm using cool colors, uh, maybe in the next one over I'll use a different take on this and use a warmer color palette. So already that image is, is already looking pretty sharp. So that's great. So here we have a guy with some headphones, kind of similar to that ad was the inspiration here. So we'll do the same thing. You can also add a gradient map on this menu here. If you click this icon in the layers palette. So we'll do the same thing. I'll delete this middle one and reverse this and grab. Let's try some warmer colors here. Maybe a darker red or black to red, and then we'll go to, say, an orange. Maybe this will be a little more red. Or even pink, just to kind of give that duotone effect with the gradient map filter going on. Great. So the neat thing about the gradient maps, you can adjust the blend mode too, so you can get all types of effects in real time here, just to tweak your photos even further, depending on what you want to do. Like a, that average effects, like immediately makes this look like an afternoon shot rather than it was normally midday. So if we were to apply that average and just turn this layer off, it's, it's a much more um, big effect going on. So I'm going to leave it at normal because we're at really after that from a gradient from one color to the next feel on each photo 
to get this um, concept down. So finally, I have a picture of a deer that looks pretty scared. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and add the same effect. We'll go to this menu again, hit the gradient map filter. Uh, this one we could do, I mean, maybe for some album art or something kind of more artsy, you could keep this kind of look. Maybe adjust the blend modes as well. Uh, something like so could look pretty cool. Even something like that would be kind of neat just to have a really abstract kind of look. Almost like it's a, um, a two color print, so to speak, which this is obviously more than two colors. So printing this would be kind of a challenge and making it look right, but it would be possible, I think. But something like that actually looks pretty nice. That's kind of the default setting once you take the green out of the picture. The red's a little bright, so maybe I'll adjust that. Maybe to a green. We could do, I like yellow. Maybe keep this blue. So the shadows you see take the, the hint of the color on this side and then the highlights take the hint of the color on this side. So that's essentially is what a gradient map is. And as you can see, it pretty much transforms your photos in one quick layer adjustment. So definitely play around with this in your own photos. I invite you to check it out. Maybe try to recreate those ads if you're familiar with it from Spotify. But other than that, there's some great effects you can achieve with gradient maps in Affinity Photo.